There was a man who came to Imam al Ridha and he says to the Imam, Ya ibn Rasulullah, I've committed a lot of sins. You know, when I read a hadith like this, I think to myself, SubhanAllah, can you imagine how approachable Imam al Ridha is that someone comes to me and says, Ya ibn Rasulullah, I'm in trouble. I committed a lot of sins. And look what else he says. And I just don't have the energy to do major good deeds. So he's asking the Imam that I've messed up, I've committed every sin in the book, just give me a shortcut, right? Give me a quick U-turn back to Allah. You know, I don't have the energy, I'm an old man, just give me, give me the passcode. Do you know what the Imam says to him? مَنْ لَمْ يَقْدِرْ عَلَى مَا يُكَفِّرْ بِهِ ذُنُوبًا If you're not able to do good deeds, that will serve as a kafara for your sins. فَلْيُكْثِرْ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَآلِ مُحَمَّدٍ if you, if, if you can't do anything, you don't have the energy, then at the very least, send salutations upon Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. Now you may ask me, you know brothers and sisters, for a long time, I often wondered, why is salawat so powerful? You know we have many ahadith that say, if you meet Allah on the day of judgment, and your good deeds are about the same as your evil deeds, what will tip the scales for many mu'mineen, is the reward and the weight of the salawat upon Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. But the question is why? Why is salawat so powerful? Why does it have the ability? Because the Imam says, if you do that, فَإِنَّهَا تَهْدِمُ الذُّنُوبِ Because salawat demolishes sins. The Imam uses a very powerful word, demolishes sins. The answer to this question is actually in the Qur'an. Some of us, we've been reciting salawat all of our lives, but we don't know why this is such a powerful action. 